What's up everybody, Alex here from Uncanny Wellness and today I am bringing you another video where we are going to talk about water soluble CBD. Nowadays there are so many people that are hearing about CBD for the first time, just discovering it, and the odds are they're hearing about it in one of its many oil forms, like a tincture, like a cream, like vapes. Oil and water don't mix well, we know that. and the vast majority of use cases out there are gonna be water-based. I'll explain a bit more later what I mean about that, but really, it all comes down to bioavailability. The way in which you consume the CBD dictates how bioavailable it is. So before I get too deep into it, let's go find a place in the woods to sit down and talk in a little bit more of a beautiful setting. So the first thing that's crucial to understanding why water soluble is so important is known as the first pass effect or first pass metabolism. And this is a physiological phenomenon where basically when you're delivering a drug, any drug compound to the body, the concentration gets greatly reduced before it can effectively be absorbed. And basically what's happening is that this drug compound, whatever it might be, in our case it's CBD, is getting processed by the liver before it has a chance to effectively enter your bloodstream. What that ends up meaning is that you have a great decrease in bioavailability and it's not really um, a novel problem. It affects tons of different drug compounds from curcumin, which is the active ingredient in turmeric, to morphine, and tons of other things that are pretty normal in drug delivery and pharmaceuticals, but they have this same exact issue, which is the first pass effect, preventing it from being efficiently absorbed in a certain state. So to overcome the first pass effect, there needs to be some sort of conversion process for these molecules. The first pass effect only affects the bioavailability of CBD if consumed into the stomach or oral consumption. If you're absorbing a tincture properly under your tongue, through your skin, or you're vaping it, it doesn't have those issues because the first pass effect is specific for the stomach. So the good thing is that scientists have created techniques to successfully overcome the first pass effect, which means that you can take something like CBD, which normally has extremely poor bioavailability in the stomach, put it through this conversion process, and then all of a sudden you can drink it or eat it or however, swallow it into your stomach without sacrificing effectiveness. So what's the big deal? Why does all of this matter? Really, it all comes down to the fact that we can't effectively absorb CBD in our stomach as is. And you might be thinking, what about all the CBD oil capsules out there? Isn't that just an oil that I'm swallowing into my stomach? Or what about CBD drinks? Am I not getting the full dose for those either? And the answer really is it all depends on how those companies formulated their CBD. For example, what we do at Uncanny allows it so that in a capsule or in a drink or however you want to take it, by swallowing it, you're still getting the maximum dose because of this unique conversion process that we do. But basically, a lot of CBD oil capsules out there are not converted in any special way and actually going to have really poor bioavailability. This is science that not everybody's aware of or if they are aware of it, they've chosen to ignore it for some reason. So what does that look like? It looks like if you took a 25 milligram CBD capsule, you could only be absorbing five milligrams of that expected dose. So the reality is that out there in the world of science and uh, drug delivery science, up to 40% of new drug compounds 
a lot of them being from plants, have this same issue of bioavailability in the stomach. So the techniques that have been created to overcome this problem are tried and tested and well known in the scientific community and are being used every day for other compounds. It's still just new to the cannabis hemp CBD industry. One of the best ways to overcome the first pass effect is to convert the oil soluble CBD into a water soluble form. By doing this, not only does it increase bioavailability in the stomach, but it also greatly increases the ways in which you could use this product. Because with an oil-based extract, you're confined to mixing it with other oils and using it that way. Because of course, oil and water don't mix. But with water-soluble, you can much more easily incorporate that into baked goods, frozen goods, coffee, tea, juices, and so much more. The technique that we use here at Uncanny Wellness is recognized for possessing unparalleled potential for increasing the oral bioavailability of poorly water-soluble drugs. And I know that's a mouthful, but basically it means that the technique converts this oil into a form that increases bioavailability in the stomach. So how does this work? Basically, you could think of CBD oil as a big blob. And this conversion technique takes it from a big blob of oil and breaks it down into a bunch of really, really, really small pieces. And all of those small pieces are micro or nano sized. So that ends up being what's known as a micro encapsulation, literally encapsulating pieces of that CBD oil into small enough segments so that it can effectively enter your bloodstream in the stomach and overcome the first pass effect. The end result of the conversion process that we use to take the CBD oil into a water soluble form ends up creating a off-white powder that's very fine to the touch and still has the smell from all the terpenes and other naturally occurring compounds in the extract besides the CBD. So why should you care? Well, you know, maybe water soluble CBD is not for you. If you really like creams, if you really like holding a tincture under your tongue, then by all means stick with that. But if you want to expand the ways in which you can use this substance, water soluble is for sure the way to go. Because otherwise, you're going to be throwing your CBD oil into your smoothie or into your water. First of all, it's not going to mix well. Second of all, you're going to be absorbing maybe 50%, likely less. Really, to incorporate something and build it into your daily routine, it has to be easy. And so water-soluble CBD allows you to just consume it in a much more friendly way without having to guess what dose you're expecting, without having to sacrifice bioavailability, and without having to deal with holding a oil under your tongue to properly absorb it. When we take a look at what's on the shelves of health food stores, like if you walked into Whole Foods, if you walked into any natural food store near you, what you would see is you'd see powders that you could add to a shake or a smoothie, and you'd see pills. There are some tinctures, but they are a very small minority compared to what is in the supplement department as a whole. And so those two, pills and powders, either way you're going to use those, it's entering your stomach. And so to use CBD in that way, it really needs to be in a converted form for increased bioavailability and a water soluble CBD can do that for you. Now I believe that if CBD is really gonna go mainstream like we all know it can, it's gonna be in the most user friendly way. And in my opinion, I think it makes the most sense that the most user friendly way for CBD to be delivered to the body is just by swallowing it, drinking it, using it in a capsule, and that way it has to be converted otherwise you're losing out on most of the dose you know there's a lot of people out there that have really great cbd tinctures but when they start dropping that tincture into a smoothie it's really misleading to their customers because yes the tincture is perfectly fine absorbed under the tongue but if you're just dropping cbd into your smoothie you got to know that you're getting only half that dose or less a good example is if you go to fill your car up with gas, okay, if you go to fill your car up with gas and you pay for a full tank, would you be okay only getting half a tank or even 20% of a tank? Probably not. So if you're paying for a dose of CBD 
and you're just swallowing oil, then you gotta know that that's exactly what's happening. So that's it, everything you need to know about water-soluble CBD. Really what it comes down to is we all have these incredible endocannabinoid systems in our body that are the precursor to our nervous and immune system and are essential for the full functioning of those systems and maintaining health and balance within our body. CBD is arguably the best way to supplement that system and support yourself on so many levels. So however you want to incorporate CBD into your life is up to you. But just remember that if you're going to be swallowing it in a capsule or in any other form, it needs to be converted in order to overcome the first pass effect. What we do is create a water soluble powder, which does overcome that bioavailability obstacle and also greatly opens up the opportunities for you to use it in creative, fun and interesting ways. So that's all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it this far and you enjoyed it, please like the video. It would also mean a lot to me if you could subscribe to the channel. Of course, at any time, you can check out our website, uncannywellness.com, where you can see the types of products we have, and you can also read more educational information in our blogs. We have recipes up there as well. Thank you all so much, and I will see you next time. Peace.